Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to install the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. We'll also be testing it out to see how well the phone performs with the screen protector installed. Please do check you don't already have a screen protector applied as Samsung's new release does come with this straight out of the box. If you do have one on just simply peel it away. To begin with, lay out all of the installation tools and keep them close to hand as there are quite a few steps in comparison to other screen protectors. Once you have everything set out, take a couple of moments to check your work area is completely flat as even the slightest incline can cause the adhesive liquid to slide off the phone during the installation process. A quick and easy way to check this is to place one of the adhesive bottles down and see if it rolls. If it stays put then you're good to go but if you find it rolls you'll need to find a level surface before you begin. With your S10 Plus placed on a flat surface, take one of the alcohol wipes and thoroughly clean the entire display and the edges of the phone. Next, use the microfiber cloth to dry the screen, before using the dust removal stickers to dab away like so. This will lift any final dust or lint that can be annoying if caught under the screen protector during the installation. You can now place your phone into the bottom section of the installation tray, making sure you match up the speaker to the speaker text of the tray. With that done, you can go ahead and cover the speaker with one of the protective stickers. This will ensure that no adhesive can get into this part of the phone. Now you can go ahead and fit the top section of the tray, matching up the speaker text to the text of the bottom tray. Whitestone also provide you with two absorption pads for you to place either side of your phone. These pads will help take care of the adhesive gel once it spills out from underneath the applied protector. At this point I would advise giving the screen a final check with the dust removal stickers just to double check that the screen is well prepared and ready for the protector to be applied. Next, take the plastic pin and insert it into the gap like so before positioning the bridge into the area shown at the top section of the tray. You can now turn your attention to the bottle of adhesive and remove the larger coloured cap. Do take care to remove this cap first as the second cap controls the release of the adhesive. Begin to screw the bottle into the bridge like so. Don't worry about any spillage as no liquid can be released until you remove the second cap. With the bottle secured, remove the second cap and allow the adhesive to run onto the display for around 30 to 40 seconds. This will make sure all of the liquid is out and onto the phone. Once the adhesive is completely out, slowly lift the bridge and the adhesive bottle from the tray, taking care not to move the adhesive bubble. You can now turn your attention to the screen protector itself. Begin peeling back the protective film, taking care not to touch this side with your fingers. Lower the protector into place, starting with the bottom first before resting the top on the guide pin that we slotted in earlier. Once you're happy with the position, press down on the bottom of the tray to slide the adhesive bubble to the centre of the S10's display. When it reaches this point, remove the plastic pin and stop pressing on the bottom of the tray. This action will cause the protector to fall into place and allow the adhesive to spread throughout the entirety of the screen. You'll need to allow a couple of minutes for the adhesive to spread correctly, but you'll be able to see when it's completed anyway. Now you can begin the primary curing process. Take the UV light and position it at the top of your S10 Plus for 15 seconds, before repeating this process at the bottom for a further 15 seconds. Following this, lift the top tray and remove the S10 Plus. Now you can use the leftover alcohol wipe to remove any of the remaining adhesive from the edges. Place your S10 Plus onto a clean surface and use the UV light for the secondary curing process. You should leave the light at each end for 60 seconds. This will complete the installation process, allowing you to enjoy your S10 Plus with the peace of mind that the screen will be protected. As with all Whitestone screen protectors, you'll instantly notice a superb fit, look and feel, minus any horrid glue marks that can often be seen with other protectors. You'll also notice the crystal clear appearance, which looks fantastic. Many other screen protectors tend to use a black lining around the edges to hide the glue, whereas the dome glass doesn't need to do this thanks to the high-tech installation process. With the protector applied, the S10 Plus stays just as responsive as before, meaning you can use your phone as you would normally, including typing with flawless accuracy as well as using the fingerprint reader with no issues. 
Whitestone do recommend to re-register your fingerprint after installing their screen protector to make sure that the S10 Plus can get a precise reading every time. This is supremely clear with just as much clarity as before, which makes watching videos and playing games a truly enjoyable experience. While installing this protector may seem like a hassle, I genuinely found it extremely easy. By following the steps in this video, you'll be guaranteed of a well-applied screen protector that's easily the best available on the market today. It is a little expensive when compared to other screen protectors, but the unique installation method really does ensure of a quality fit that's like no other. That's all we have for our installation and review. If you have any questions, then please do leave them in the comments below. For more information or to even purchase this screen protector for your S10 Plus, I'll leave a link in the description and comments of this video.